So this was probably the first libertarian book I ever read, and, well, considering how I was a very hardcore libertarian, and for the most part still am, for several years after that, I would say it's done its job. It's called Liberty Defined, 50 Essential Issues That Affect Our Freedom, and it's by Ron Paul. Now, one of the great things about this book is it's really just 50 small essays. We're talking, like, 2 to 10 pages maximum um, on 50 different issues. And just going down the list, we got abortion, assassination, Austrian economics, bipartisanship, business cycle, campaign finance reform, capital punishment, the CIA, civil disobedience, conscription, demagogues, democracy, discrimination, education, empire, envy. That's just the first page of the table of contents, and it goes on. The nice thing is, I mean, I read it cover to cover, and it gave me a generally good idea of where libertarians stand on things. I mean, Ron Paul is not the libertarian, but as far as libertarians go, I believe he brought more people to the movement than any other than any other person. Now, when it came to this book, it it's something that I, I wouldn't even agree with on everything, but it's just a nice, like, you don't have to read it cover to cover like I did. You can just pick an issue. I mean, even if you're not a libertarian and you want to figure out, okay, I need to debate a libertarian or some, somehow this is coming up and you need to know this position, hey, I can look up and see what they think on this and then go from there and see if I agree with it, whatever the purpose, then you can read, the, again, like five to ten pages, two to ten pages, however long that certain section is, and there you go. It's something you can jump around, you can skip ahead. I mean, the book is 327 pages and you, you can read as much of it or as little of it as you want, and it's not really going to affect the ending. There's not exactly an ending to this book other than the last section, which is Zionism. But yeah, generally, I just thought it was a good introduction book. It's still the book I recommend to introduce people to the ideology. And not to say that it's the book on libertarianism that all libertarians are going to agree, but... Again, I just it's a it's a nice introduction. You're you're guaranteed that a significant portion of libertarians, especially right libertarians, certain religious libertarians like Ron Paul is, you're going to find that they agree with a lot of this. Uh, but another thing is that this isn't an ANCAP book. This isn't um, a minarchist book like most libertarians that eventually became ANCAPs started out as classical liberals, as just um, conservatives, like, and they slowly made their way down to the to the bottom right corner of the political spectrum. And so when it comes to other books like Anatomy of the State, that's another good introductory book, but it's it's an, basically an ANCAP book by Murray Rothbard. It just doesn't work as good to introduce people to the movement. But uh, even though I don't consider myself like that hardcore of a libertarian like I used to be, I still think it's a fantastic book. I learned a lot from it. Uh, it did its job for me. So let me know in the comments what you think. If you've read the book, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. I really appreciate it. And thanks for watching.